Today we are ridiculously excited to show you something truly unique on the Portofino, something we've never seen on any other sailing boat, a hydraulically controlled rotating bowsprit. Yep, it spins, lifts and tucks in like a yoga instructor doing Pilates in a phone booth. At the push of a button, it swings up for sail changes. It falls back to shorten the boat for docking. Genius, yes. Magic, almost. Witchcraft, mm, not quite, but we've got our eye on Raphael just in case. Now what is a bowsprit? It's a pole that sticks out in front of a boat like a Pinocchio's nose to fly big light wind sails like a Code Zero or a Spinnaker. Well, basically, the boat's way of catching as much wind as it can. More sail area equals faster speeds. They're common on performance cats and even our Leopard 45 had one, but usually they're fixed, awkward and can be dangerous. The bowsprit and wires handle tons of force, literally, so it needs to be super strong to manage those forces. Worst part, Handling sails out on the bowsprit feels like trying to change your socks on a trampoline in a storm blindfolded. Some boats use tilt or retractable poles, but they're still manual, fiddly and can be very dodgy. So we asked how to make it safe, smart and idiot proof. Raphael's answer is hydraulics. Flick a switch and the bowsprit lifts and swings back to be at arm's length, smooth, safe Zero tightrope walking required. No climbing, no swearing, no acrobatics, just pure glorious innovation. Say hello to the future of sailing and goodbye to dangling over the front of your boat like a confused figurehead. So let's unveil this amazing creation. We are John and Ellie the Barefoot Doctors. Our dream boat, a Leopard 50, was taken from us in a fire. And in that loss, we found something extraordinary. We made a wish list of everything that we ever wanted in a cruising catamaran. But that boat just didn't exist. So we did the only thing that made sense. We set about to design and build it from scratch. We partnered with a visionary team at Portofino to bring a one-of-a-kind design, a fast, expeditionary, aluminium catamaran to life. Combining our ultimate wish list with their groundbreaking innovations. This isn't just a boat, it's a revolution in cruising. And we're taking you with us from the first spark of an idea to sailing the most breathtaking corners of the planet. So join us on this journey because life is better barefoot. Okay guys, so I am on the bow of the boat here. The cross beam is at my feet. There's one end, and there's the other end. There's the front of the product. And that is where the hydraulic bow sprit attaches. So it goes a further two meters out that way. Isn't that an incredible extra sail area we're gonna have? And obviously when it comes up, it'll come up to here, and we'll be able to attach the sails right close to our bodies without us actually going past the front beam. So, so don't forget to subscribe ding the notification bell so you won't miss out on all these upcoming exciting episodes should be a red uh, cover eh? <laughs> Ta -ta -ta. this is absolutely absolutely secret. <laughs> Top secret nothing even similar Now, of course, now this hose, hydraulic hose, is temporary. Of course, it, when it will go inside, we have already the, the place for the hose. Oh, yeah. Of course, it will be inside and here will be closed. Here we have two ropes. Then we are going to simulate uh, the, tension of the, the tensioner of the bowsprit. When you lift up, it releases, and when you take it down, it tightens. You can, you can see there. This is an hydraulic pump, and of course will not be here, it will be in the engine room. Yeah. And here you have the other part of the bumpers. A 48 volts battery. Well, Paolo Jumara, the rigger, the sailmaker and rigger, he said, uh, we have to patent because this is so nice. Uh, and after 10 minutes, he said, don't patent because you don't find another crazy guy to make something like this. <laughs> So it's uh, it is a bit complicated, but the complication, it's okay. But the shape of the bowsprit uh, is uh, particular. 
because normally the bowsprit is round. Yeah. So if you first you have to design the same mechanism, but you need also the bowsprit designed to accommodate the mechanism. Okay. That is not easy. So you have to redesign everything from zero. And also this coupling, this is square because the other part is square as yeah. well, so it will match perfectly. But maybe we can patent it because, uh, you know, everything you have patented uh, or pending patent because you need five years, three to, four yeah. to five years to get the confirmation, is value for the boat. We have three, four, five, uh, we have one for the AC, we can have another one for this. This one, especially, I don't think they have any question because uh, we don't find any equal product in the market. Of course, if you have one ready-made, it's easier to copy, yeah. but not really easy to make, yeah. especially for the shape of the bowsprit. So here we have the power of the pump, and this is the noise of the pump, and this is also the autopilot pump, it's yeah. the same. And here we have the command for the valve, and it's the same valve that you use for the autopilot. I can imagine Eli on the Martingala <laughs> with a push button. Uh, Looking the people on the shore, no? I say, look what they have, look what they have. The speed now is a medium speed, medium high speed. But as per the capacity of the pump, we can go much faster. I don't recommend. I think this is already a very good speed. See now it's released. When they go down, it will get tight. Wow, look at that. This uh, is a nylon rope, so it's elastic. Mm -hmm. But with the Dyneema, when it's tight, it's tight. And we have one adjustment here. Then after a while, we, we will leave the adjustment zero. So after a while, even the Dyneema can have a little bit of stretching. So by just adjusting one bolt, we can tighten a little bit more. Eli, come and push the button. This is, this is, we made for you. <laughs> so this is up and yes. this is down. Until vertical, you yeah, have no problem. Stop here. Yeah, this is okay. Ready? That's as tall as you. Um. I'll be leaning on it in my keenies. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Wow. More? You can go, yes. Wow. Down, there is a stopper. No that problem. is so cool. You know what I love? That we were here when these guys were designing this and to see it here now in the flesh months later is just mind blowing. It's a secret, so don't tell anyone, we're not gonna show you. <laughs> just to 30,000, 30, 40,000 people, not more. <laughs> yes. It's exciting because what we have designed for a long time, now everything is coming through, you know? Yeah. You can touch, you can feel, you can... Uh, is, is, is the moment yeah. and you yeah. see your uh, design uh, coming, working, uh, yeah. come together. We have considerate around 100 degree, and it's more or less this position. Wow. So, wow, look at this. I hate to tell you that. But you, you can reach the sail very easy. In, in, instead of walk on the bowsprit and change the sail there, maybe in the ocean with the waves yeah. like this, it's much different. But not only that, when you go in the marina, this is really long, huh? yeah. because you have another piece here. Yeah. It's not only this. And, and here we have the mechanism that is made to tie to the ropes. Huh? If you want, oh, yeah. I can lift up and down, you will see that this is a traveler, then 
tra this one is traveling connected by this connecting road to the piston. So when the piston open in the same time, it pulling the, oh, okay. the, the trolley. And this is a, is a trolley with the uh, Turlon uh, bearings, okay. like the traveler of your main, so, yeah. but smaller. So it's 100% marine, uh -huh. marine uh, stuff. This hole is for the washing pipe. Oh, because yeah, yeah. here we will connect to one uh, fresh water pipe. And when you lift up, you have a valve in the uh, chain locker. Then you open the door of the chain locker, you open the valve, and you wash the mechanism with the fresh water. Because when it's closer, to wash is not easy. Yeah. Or you have to go there with the pipe. Uh -huh. So we will run just a small pipe here. We make already the hole for this. Then from the top here, we'll spray fresh water in all the mechanisms. And you keep always uh, away from the salt. Yeah. No, the bow is here. The bow back here. Yeah. So this... The distance should be your, uh, the length of your arm. But if it's a little bit more, you have to do just yeah, like this. Yeah. Not jump on the other side of yeah. the lifeline. True. You can operate from inside the lifeline. Horrible. If you want to check the mechanism, I will leave one more time. It's the same mechanism of the crane. The crane for the dinghy uh -huh. in the mega yacht. Uh -huh. They have this mechanism with uh, several ropes. See, when I go up, it release. When I go down, it tights. It pull in the, the rope until it become tight. Because what the point if you have an hydraulic bow sprit? and you have to go there to release the rope. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, it's useless. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But basically, is what is it? This is a very strong engine that we manufacture here in our workshop, all stainless steel, and is connected by bolts with some uh, insulation uh, gasket uh -huh. to the aluminum. It's connected by bolts because the engines need to be stainless steel, mm -hmm. cannot be the aluminum. Right. It could be weak. Here you have a lot of, yeah. a lot of load. Very Here we have our uh, connecting road. Then it's the same one that we use for the rudder. And you can see why we have to use the connecting road. Because when I am here, if you see this angle, if I connect the piston directly there, the piston is going to touch here. Okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah. here also I need a little bit of space uh -huh. for something else. So uh -huh. we, we split with the connecting road. The like piston is, work, is working always in this direction, uh -huh. and the connecting road is making the angle. Is adjusting yeah. the angle. Yeah. And this is the same one of the rudder. Okay. And look at this amazing technology. On the front of the bowsprit is an electric furler with the motor hidden inside the pole. With the touch of the button at the cockpit, the furler will either open the sail out or roll it up again. But the really important thing with this to note is that there are no ropes. There are no ropes that have to lead back to the cockpit and we don't have to use our winches to manage this sail. So this electric furler controlled from the cockpit with absolutely no ropes that typically have to be managed at the helm position and tangle up with all the other ropes. Absolutely brilliant. Suppose then you have to remove the motor because it could happen. We fix the motor with this. The best way is to go in the marina with the bow in. Oh, yeah. So you, you, you will get this one on the pontoon. Yeah. This is another design, and we didn't sleep in the night. No, no, for this flange, uh, it was an edict, but this is a piece of art. Wow. This is uh, anodized. Right. right. Same color of the right. motor. But this we made okay. with a CNC machine. This is not anodized because it will be painted. It's welded. Mm -hmm. And uh, after they apply the filler, it will be one piece with the bowsprit. It will be painted uh, the color of the bowsprit. Mm -hmm. right. The join, as you can see, this is a strange design. But this design is made by uh, the, 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 the manufacturer. They made like this. Okay. So we have to copy this design. Right. And it's fixed with all this. Allen key all around wow. will be inside coupling with the extremely precision. 
You keep it and you fix. Super easy to remove. Uh, here we have two Derlin bush, then we have already. Then the rope, it will go inside the plastic, okay. not, not on the... No, see see the, yeah. the gap here? It yeah. will be closed by the Derlin bush. Servicing of the bowsprit is also very easy because the whole of this side of the bowsprit is able to be removed to give you access. Again, Portofino has thought of everything and focused on making servicing and maintenance really, really easy. Even without remove, you can access to all the mechanisms. And it's designed and everything can come out from here. You don't need to remove. But in any case, remove is not a big problem because you have six bolts here. If you remove, if you disconnect from here and you disconnect the pin here, it will come out. And you can put on the bench of the workshop and work on. Well, this is what we decided we want on our 52. So let us know what you'd do if you're in our shoes and you had the choice of a bowsprit like this or not. Put it in the comments below. And stay tuned to join us next week for a tour of the Portofino 47. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode and thanks to our awesome Patreons whose money helps us save lives around the world. Please make sure you subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss out on any of the exciting upcoming episodes. Hold on to your dreams because like the wind in the sails, they propel you towards endless possibilities.